up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to another Force of Will unboxing. Today we are opening New Dawn Rises. I am incredibly excited because I finally get my chance to open this up. I know a lot of other people got some uh, exclusive early access. I was not privileged to that, um, so I get to open it up with you guys. Before I begin, I just want to let you know that I am opening not one, but two booster boxes in this video. And I also want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory. They are really awesome there. The people who run the place are incredibly nice folks. They have incredibly good pricing on all of their products. Very, very competitive, which is kind of why they sell out very often. So um, I would check them out. They have Force of Will sealed product. They have singles. They have even Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions sealed product and singles. Check them out. Give them some love. They do good work and I support them 100%. But without further ado, I'm just chomping at the bit. Let's let's crack into this bad boy. Okay, I lied. <laughs> We're not going to open it up yet. I do want to comment on the box itself. It's a lot sturdier than the last couple, you know, shitty Force of Will boxes. It's not as good as like the really hardback ones, you know, back in the... Um, I wouldn't call it the heyday, but you know, a couple sets back we had those sweet hard boxes. It's not a hard box, but it's a little bit better. It does have the Force of Will logo shrink wrap, which is nice, featuring this sweet ass Anubis right here. And now we will actually open it up. All right, the shrink wrap is off. Let's pop up the top. God damn, why is it always so hard? It's always so much harder when I'm doing it on camera. When I do it like off camera, just like casually for anything else, I mean, first of all, Damn, but, but also I'm just like, oh yeah, pop it off. It's super easy, whatever. And then on camera, I'm like, fuck, it's super, super fucking hard. Um, as you can see, we have the basic ruler pack. I apologize if I keep shaking the camera. Anyway, basic ruler pack. This is super cool. Um, we should have a promo in here, which is a pretty, pretty sweet promo in my opinion, as well as the basic rulers for the Valhalla cluster and some magic stones, since we don't have magic stones in booster packs anymore. So, I mean, there's our... Promo waifu, but anything else? Okay, cool. So, let's go over this really quick. The promo is this badass chick, Skulled Valkyrie of the Future. I really like the Valkyries. If you couldn't tell, I kind of themed this video around Valkyries. Um, shout out to my fallen fallen game, um, Dragoborn. Well, it's not my fallen game, but I liked it. Anyway, Skulled. She's pretty sweet. She actually has a pretty cool ability, producing will whenever she attacks. And you can do some shenanigans, you know, recovering her and attacking again and producing a bunch of will. Pretty cool. And then we also have our rulers. These are the basic rulers. You actually get two of each. So you can do like a six person draft with just this box alone because it comes with, you know, six rulers, which is really, really good. The other ones only had five. So you can only do like a weird five person draft. You can actually do a full six person draft with this. Um, the big difference between all of these, they're, they're basically all the same. So we have the Arcana of Dawn, the Arcana of War, and the Arcana of Light. I'm gonna put these ones down. The only difference is the Divinity. As you can see, this one has Divinity seven, War has Divinity six, and the Light has Divinity five. So, you know, one, one less each, seven, six, five. Um, and then the upside is that this one, can, it comes into play with one limited counter, which you can kind of remove to create some will, and you can like do some color fixing and draft. This one has two limited counters, and this one has three limited counters. On the ruler side, they're basically all the same thing. They just have different. No, they're all. No, they're all avatars. No, they're the same. They're just a one thousand, one thousands. That's it. Um, other than you know the, the divinity, the art is absolutely fucking awesome on all of these. So if you're drafting, man, you get to play with some really cool looking rulers. I mean, I obviously really like this one because I have used it in some videos already. But yeah, that's that. Um, I guess I'll show you the magic stones real quick. They're the same ones that come in the starter decks. They're all full art. There's none foil, but I mean, the art is fucking awesome, especially the light stone. Yeah. And you get this in every single booster box. So it's kind of a good way to supplement your deck building and do some draft and all that. Well, I mean, this is for draft, but... Yeah. Anyway, let's let's open some booster packs. All right, we're about to open this pack. I'm just gonna go over one thing real quick before I before I open it. I'm not giving you like pack blue balls. Um, if you have never seen one of my videos before, I like to sort it out. Basically, all of our full art rares will go right here, <laughs> right across the chest. Um, we will have a stack of rares, a stack of super rares, and a stack of um, like the full arts, um, probably just on her face so the camera doesn't like focus on it. Um, the pack itself. It's pretty nice looking. It's kind of like a really dark ink. 
kind of feels like you can kind of see it puff up. Kind of feels like there's a lot of air in it. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's open it up. Let's, let's also a little pull tab. Oh, there are also QR QR. There are also QR codes in every single booster pack. I will not show any of them in the video because I scan them for my own devious means. But just rest assured, there's there are QR codes, and I am removing them from the packs. All right, our first card ever is Carrier Dragon. And I'm not gonna go over all the commons. We got two booster boxes to go through. We got a lot of stuff. I kinda like this card, by the way. Shit stats, really high cost, but it has a cool ability. We have the Grand Bird of Lost Isles, Gatherer of Despair. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about that. I'll come back to it. Carrier Camel, Messenger of Death. This definitely looks like a Warhammer dude. Um, so those are all commons, and then we should have two uncommons with Yokai Festival with really cool stylized art. I love this chick's face. And then we have a Magic Stone of the Hermit. This is an uncommon special Magic Stone. It's a pretty cool one. Give some dragons some haste. And then a rare is Protection of the Angels. I really like this card quite a bit, actually. Um, just, just It's a defensive card, but you can also use it to kill your opponent's resonators, or you can give some dudes barrier. Your opponents can't chase to it. This card's sweet. Um, so this is our first rare. We're going to put it in our rare pile. And then our first foil is kind of stuck. We have a Magic Stone of Dueling. So this is a rare Magic Stone. So we're going to put the rare here, Super Rares here, and then the, the Full Arts are going to be here. Except for the, the rare ones. So yeah, the uh, pretty good. This one lets you produce double Fire Will, and you can only use it to activate J-Ruler abilities. But that's super sweet. Um, so yeah, yeah, pretty good. All right, we got this diseased rat with these like fucking blood boil things. It looks pretty gross, honestly. Uh, Whispers of an Angel, the Mimi Tribe's Cook. Cook? Uh, Torrent of Energy. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of cool cards in this set. Um, there are chant runes that you can put in your main deck. Remember, you cannot put chants in your main... Or, chants. You cannot put runes in your main deck or mass runes in your main deck. But you can put chant runes in your main deck, which is interesting. Um, we have Haggath, Angel of Alchemy. Traitor of Sandora. Vivian, the Mechanical Fairy. This card is sweet, actually. It's an uncommon... I think it's good enough to be a rare. It's, it's a pretty cool card, actually. Uh, we have the Bottomless Chasm of Death, the Abyss. Weird card. I kind of like it. Our rare is the Magic Stone of Tranquility. Let's you recover some ninjas, which I think is pretty sweet. I love, my, love myself some ninjas. I'm getting a lot of Magic Stone so far. And then our full art. Oh, dude. Fucking yeah. Full art Anubis, Administer of the Hounds. You can see her in her curvaceous full art glory. Really cool card. You can read it here. She was one of my top 10 cards of the set, so I'm very glad to get a full art one of her. She is just very, very good. We have the Fresh Blood Vampire with fucking sweet art. I mean, I like, I really like all of the macabre art. Uh, this is Auk, Angel of Clairvoyance. I think this card's actually legit. I'm not sure if it's good in, like, constructed, but it is a sweet-ass, just two-drop, 500-600 flying. That's really good, and when it enters, you foresee, which is basically like Scry from Magic. This card's super good, actually. I, I like it quite a bit. And, you know, the art is pretty cute, too. I like this bulbous, bulbous head Oni. Reminds me of, like, Dragon Ball stuff. Thick Fog. That's what she said. <laughs> Apostle of the Devil. We have the Forgotten Sanctuary Lost Isles. This is pretty cool art, actually. It's an uncommon. We have a Magic Stone of Corruption. Another uncommon. I like this card quite a bit, too, actually. I really like a lot of these Magic Stones. Our rare is uh, Jubei, the One-Eyed Swordmaster. Someone went and poked out his eye. Pretty good card. It's very versatile, does a lot of stuff. Um, I like him quite a bit. And then we have a, ooh, dude, another full art rare. We are three for three. All of our rares have been full art rares. This is an Osri oh, bleh, Osiris, I can say it. Osiris, Lord of the Afterlife. Um, it's the promo that came in the starter decks, but not with this art. I think this art's cooler, actually. Yeah, so I'm happy about that. This is one of those cards that is not very good, but I think has beautiful art. That is a common theme in Force of Will. Uh, Sky Round Guardian, also not a great card. I'd rather play the other one because it's better art. Venomous Scorpion, Miasma of the Abyss. This is a very high cost removal spell. Corpse Demon fucking looks like something from Bloodborne. Tell me that does not look like something from Bloodborne. It looks like if you killed it, it would just explode in like blood, like a, like a blood pimple in a single stroke. That also, that's what she said. Uh, ruins of Never Ending Rain, Rain Ruins. It's a little. On the nose, we have the Knight's Castle in the Sky, Sky Round. Come on, guys. Okay, let's just take a look at these names real quick. Ruins of Never Ending Rain, Rain Ruins. No. 
you, you can't that's too many rain and too many ruins and then this is castle in the sky sky round this is the, it's too much we have massive growth <laughs> god damn it that is what she said all right so this card's actually really good in my opinion um it's kind of like a dark ritual for magic the gathering basically it gives you more will than you put into it and, it, you know, you can only do it to a do awakening cost, but I think there are some really cool things you can do with this card. I like this card a lot. And then our rare is not a rare, so it's a foil. Uh, this is the Village of the Spirited Away Koga. I do like the whole Spirited Away thing. I also like in the full art version, you can see Hanzo's little, little cat eyes poking out. Kind of a cool card. Um, I'm always a fan of, like, one-drop cards with abilities. This is pretty good. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But I like it. I like it. So I will like to note that there are no uber rares in this set, which is a huge bummer. Um, there are still god packs, so we can still get a god pack. And there are kind of like hidden secret rare kind of things. They're not guaranteed once per box. I have seen someone open up a box in real life and they did not get one. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, this is the Angel of Knowledge. She's an interesting card. I like one drops to give you some sort of card advantage. We have the Mad Hatter of Misty Woods. Our rare is another Anubis. Pretty sweet, it's a super rare. Always happy. And then we have a, another thick, thick fog. We have this paper cat, Itan Momen. No idea what that means. Scorching winds. This art is awesome. Um, yeah, maybe I just like <laughs> just like the waifus. This is a common card. Really cool art for a common man. Scalding breath. We have uh, Haggath, Angel of Alchemy. At some point, we're going to start skipping over a lot of these cards. Land of Fiery Ambition, Kunlun. Cool art. I like the dragon. Ooh, another super rare. This is uh, the, the boomerang girl. Lemura the, of the Magic Boomerang. She's got a, a giant wall of text. You can read it right there. If you so please. But I'm not going to read it right here. Oh, dude. Nice. I, mean, I should be so excited for a, a full art common. But this is the one I was saying I really liked. The flying with the 4C. And she's like... Got cute art. I'm down. I can dig it. Got this gatherer of despair. He's just just collecting it, saving it up so for the most opportune time. Uh, we got this tiny trader. She literally does nothing. She's a 0 800 for one. I guess she's good defensively. She's a were rabbit too. This, this fox looks like my dog. He totally looks like my dog. We have uh, Kotaro, Ninja of the Wind. I like this card. I think it's kind of cool. Um, we have, ooh, another super, god, we're, we're drowning in super rares. Shen Gongbao, Taoist of Kunlun. Gongbao. Anyway, yeah, we, we got some Gongbao. And with the Blessing of the Sun with fucking awesome art, dude. Hold on, let's get a look at this. It's just a common, but this is sweet. Also, I really like a lot of these low-cost divun divinity. I like a lot of these low-cost divinity cards that give you, like, some incremental advantage. Because um, you can put a lot of these in, because, you know, you're, you're working with, like, 10 Divinity here. Yeah, I like this card. I mean, art's cool. The effect is... The effect's alright. So if I could get any of the secret alt art rares, I definitely want the Tengu. I'm all about the Tengu, man. Well, not the Tengu man. She's the Tengu lady, but you know, you know what I mean. We got Explore the Unknown. We have this sweet-ass... Angel, uh, Ayer, Bringer of Destruction. I mean, she's, she looks pretty fine. We have, dude, another angel, nice. Ophiel, Angel of Guidance. This is one of the cards that can be like the, the alt art. And we have a, oh, dude, sweet. This is like, we got all of the light waifus in this pack. Yeah, nice. Let's uh, marvel at the full art glory of this glorious common. I dig it. I'm also looking to get basically anything with Oborozuki on it. Now, Oborozuki herself or her, like, removal spell. I think they're both really good. Other than the fact that, I mean, she looks pretty sweet. But the uh, the art is fantastic. I mean, the cards are fantastic. The art, uh, this card is actually fantastic. This is, like, a good Valkyrie deck type card. Very cool. I definitely want four of these because I'm definitely going to try to make a sweet Valkyrie deck. You can probably see that on the channel. And we have a full art... Uh, the child of the hero, just some, some shitty little dude. He's o he's okay. Whatever. Really got my fingers crossed for that uh, god pack. I mean, everyone who opens Force of Will is like, gotta get that god pack, man. In a single stroke. Yeah, you just, just gotta stroke it once. 
Uh, Spear of the Valkyrie. This card is an, also an interesting card, Divinity 2, Chant Rune. It costs two more to play from the Chant Rune area. This mechanic is seen in a lot of Chant Rune cards, um, either increasing it or decreasing the cost. Um, I think it's, it's a very interesting mechanic. I love this card. This card's awesome. It's basically like a demonic tutor. We have a Merlin, the controlled unit of Skyround. I do like how, like, like how, like, I like how Merlin is like this Cortana kind of thing. I can dig it. Oh, dude. Full art, super rare. Siegfried, the 100 years hero. Also one of the cards in my top 10 video. This card is sick. Has fucking sick foiling. Look at that, dude. The foiling, I should say, is not as pronounced as in previous sets, because I do know they changed their printers, but it still looks fantastic. I mean, fucking look at that shit. This card's awesome. Happy about that. So I do think we'll get around four full art super rares. I don't remember exactly how many I saw my bud pull of the, the regular rares, but I'm pretty sure like for the supers it's four. We have the Mad Hatter of Misty Woods. We have Whispers of the Devil. Disgrace Knight. This card's pretty cool. He definitely looks like something from a From Software game. And then we have a full art Mimi, Mimi Cook thing. Yeah. Starting off with this little angel girl. Definitely better than this Firebird. Literally, the card is called Bird of Fire, and it is a Firebird. That is incredibly... Like this, Skeleton Knight. There's a lot of very literal cards in this game. Oh, we have the Blessing of the Sun. It's the regular version of the Sweet Full Art we got earlier. Got Chainbind, we got this Angel Chick. Magic Stone of the Undead. I think this card's actually really good. Um, basically, you just rest it to put the top card of your deck in your graveyard. There's all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. I said that weird. All sorts of shenanigans you can do with that. Oh, dude. And a full art Magic Stone of Corruption. So we got the uh, Uncommon Darkness Magic Stone and the Rare one. Yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, this is a pretty good box so far. The full arts have just been pretty good in general. The rares haven't been great, the full art rares. But the full art supers have been fucking on point, guys. We have the City of Mirage, Sandora. The Sandy City being called Sandora. A Corpse Sorcerer. We have a Skull. This is the uh, promo that came in it. I think I might like this art better. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see if I get a full art one to fully judge. Oh, we do. It's another full art rare. The Disgraced Knight to go with our not full art Disgraced Knight. Alright, full art Tengu. I can feel it. Let's go. Come on, Minerva girl. Give me, give me some of your mojo. Blessing of the Sun, Magic Stone of Omniscience. I do not like this card at all. I think it is bad. We have Vivian the Mechanical Fairy. I think that card is good. The Magic Stone of Chaos. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. I think it's pretty good. Ah, oh, fucking gave my hopes up. This is a rare. It does have my, my Tengu girl on it. This is Squall of the Tengu. Quick cast, destroy all resonators with flying for three. Pretty good. I mean, it's good, like, sideboard tech. That was a dragon, bro. Carrier dragon. Giant of the Mist. Actually, not that bad of a card, I think. Especially in, like, limited. It's a big dude, and if it gets targeted by a spell, you have to, like, sacrifice it. But what spells target... In constructed that aren't going to kill your guy anyway. Basically none. Uh, Kotaro, Ninja of the Wind. I mean, unless you're playing some sort of, like, pump thing, but whatever. Uh, Spear of the Valkyries. Oh, dude, nice! Here we fucking go. Life Severing Blade. This card is awesome. It just barely missed my top ten. Because it's kind of a boring removal spell. But it's a fucking sweet removal spell. With, like, fucking sweet art. So, yeah, happy about that. And then that, oh, there's a full art Jubei. It's another uh, rare. Pretty good one, too. I mean, we already got one of them, but yeah. Got this torrent of energy, and at this point, I'm gonna like just pl plaster through. I don't think that's the right word. For snake. I don't know if I've seen that one. Light of the Moon. Oh, yeah, this is the card that gives you barrier. I really like this card a lot, actually. It's Divinity 1, so it's pretty good. Low cost Divinity. Only costs one light to play. It's a chant rune, so it can go in your chant area or it can go in your main deck. Quick cast, you can pay one less to play this card from your rune area, so it costs nothing from your rune area. This is you gain barrier chant until end of turn. I like this card a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, Yokai Festival. Oh, dude! Yeah! Karura, the Crow Tengu. Sweet. Now we just need to get a full art, or preferably the alternate art version of her. Followed by Miasma of the Abyss. Yeah, happy about that. Well, not this, this. We got another fiery, fiery firebird. Uh, Egghead Dude. Skeleton Bro. Angel. Crow Dude. Blood Puzzle. 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 
We got the bottomless chasm of the abyss. We got the lost isles. We got, oh, dude, we got Ayu. I like Ayu. I don't, I don't know if she's good, but yeah, I like her. And we have a full art, Whispers of the Devil. Crowned Bird. I think that card's actually okay in limited. I mean, there's a lot of cards in here that are okay in limited. Like this one. Basically, if it's from your rune area, you only cost one. And then uh, you get 800 life and draw a card for one. It's not that bad. If it was just 800 life, it'd be absolutely fucking terrible. But it draws you a card, which is sweet. Magic Stone of the Hermit. This is the one that gives your Drago's haste. We got the Rainy Rain Ruins. We have another Magic Stone of Dueling to go with our first Magic Stone of Dueling. And then we have something sweet. And it's a rare. This is, uh, what is he? Atlantis, the Wielder of Knowledge. You can discard a chant and give him plus 800... Um, zero until end of turn, play this ability only once per turn, so you can make him like a thousand. So it's gonna a thousand, twelve hundred if you're discarding chance. Eh, it's okay, I guess, maybe. Maybe if you got some shenanigans or something. The Sky Round Guardian. Miasma of the Abyss. There's one card in particular that I think is, might be an uncommon. I want to comment on that doesn't look very good, but I think is actually quite good. Uh, let's see, we got the Magic Boomerang is our rare. It's the first one we've gotten. Interesting card. Uh, I, mean, I think it might be good. Um, I'm gonna make a make a hot take and say I think it might be good. This card is also kind of good, actually. Another generic knight, little shithead guy. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like so down on that dude. Uh, this is the uh, the the OP counter spell, and it's not. It actually is not very good. Uh, we have got Sandstorm is uncommon. We have the, I love the art on this card. It's the, the Misty Woods forms like a skull. That is sweet. Oh, dude, I forgot she even existed. Azazel. I mean, I like Azazel. For some obvious reasons and some not obvious reasons. She's a good card. She looks really good. Just just great things all around. And Oh, dude, Full Art Vivian. Like I said, I think this card's sweet. Definitely like a must-have if you're going to make like a machine deck. And she's like a fairy, too. 300-300 flying. It's pretty good stats. I don't know. I like this card. I mean, I already said it, but I think it's good. Honestly, the best part of booster packs is seeing what sweet, like, full arts you get. Especially for, like, um, the, the the secret ones. I definitely want... I want some alt art secret ones, guys. Mimi Tribe Explorer. We got... This is fucking Dorby Explorer. That's that's what it is. We got Scrap and Build. Oh, dude, Jormungandr. I love this card. This card is super, super good, too. Uh, really happy to get this guy. And we have a full art Scalding Breath. Not as cool as my little... Jormungandr or Jormungandr? I don't know. I'll have to play God of War again. Yo, shout out to God of War, the super underrated indie classic. Well, it's not. A, it's none of those. It's new, not underrated, and it is um, not indie. Definitely not. So we got the we got that. But more importantly, we got Look of Corruption. This card is fantastic. I just need a full playset of these. Everyone need you need a full playset of these if you're gonna play Darkness. Basically, and then we have a oh, dude, full art spear of the Valkyrie. The art is so good, it is so good. Got another grandio bird guy who's just gathering despair. All he does is he watches Fox News and he gathers despair. Uh, messenger of death that is not a shot at anything in general, just that uh, the news is pretty. Pretty terrible these days, no matter who you're swinging for. Country of the Sun, Minerva. Maybe I'm just pessimistic. <laughs> pessimistic person. I'm not really. We have this Magic Stone. I think it's pretty good. We have, dude, Oberazuki. <laughs> That's really late. This card is sweet. I love it. Definitely want a full playset of her. And maybe, uh, yeah, this is pretty good actually. I like this Cat Ninja guy. When he comes or when he dies, you get a little one-one Cat Ninja, which is pretty sweet. Not as good as Oberazuki, but I don't know. I think I think he has some uses, and I mean, she's just. Just awesome. In every way. Gato. Gato Ninja Scout. I don't know how to say ninja in Spanish. If you know how to say ninja in Spanish, let me know so I can say Gato Ninja Scout. It's probably not even that order. It's probably like different different uh, order of the words. Anyway, uh, Magic Stone of Adventure. It's a Dora, Dora's Magic Stone. Uh, Magic Stone of Par or Moonlight Paradise, even. Man, I can... I know what the cards are. I can read the words. Another Disgrace Knight, followed by a full art chain bind. Yeah. Hello, nurse. I just love starting off like that. And we just got, we're just going downhill from there. Just starts off good. Just goes straight down. We have the Land of Fire Ambition Kunlun. Pretty good, like, pumper 
Pumperoo. And then we got, ooh, another Siegfried to go with our first Siegfried. And then we have a full art camel. Aw, oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. All right, we got this another little shithead guy. I, you know what? He must have, he must have did something to me. I just don't even know. Don't even know. We have useless trader. Got craving. Got the explosion wizard. I would, I would have said that even louder, but um, I did not want to wake up my dog or half the people on the block. I also got craving. That is an uncommon, but but the explosion wizard. It's pretty. I don't know. if She's very good. We have the black spot tiger. I think this card's actually really good. Well, I don't know. I don't know. To be determined goodness, we have the Sky Round Guardian, who looks pretty cool, actually. Looks like a, looks like a fucking Gundam, actually. All right, we got fucking Skeletor there. You got little tiny, tiny angel waifu. I don't know. She's not a waifu. I can't remember. Got the, just the single stroke. Just, just stroke it once. You got the craving. We got another Atlantis dude, and then we have a full art Balmung. Oh, sweet! Got the full art Balmung to go with our full art fucking Siegfried. That's pretty sick. Cause Siegfried like gets Balmung. Yeah, I like it. I mean, fuck, man, the foiling in this these cards just look awesome. All right, so we still have plenty of box one to go, and at this point, I'm gonna go even faster, like crank it up to. Just gotta stop. Just gotta stop at the single stroke. This is the card I was talking about, actually. Master of Grief. I think he's actually pretty good. He's a 4 drop, 500, 500. That's not great, but he has Enter, Resonate as your opponent's control, gain minus 500, minus 500 until end of turn. That's all of them. I don't know, man. I, I think this guy is good and perhaps underrated. We got Door of the Explorer, followed by a Burial Rites. I know I said that weird, but there you go. Oh, dude. <laughs> fucking, fucking Lancelot. Uh, I had some, like, uh, gastrointestinal distress. Basically, I burped, and I was like, Choking on it while I was trying to be excited for Lancelot. I think it's cool. Not as good as the other Lancelot, but uh, you yeah, know, still pretty cool. As you can tell, I like Lancelot quite a bit from, you know, my fucking YouTube avatar. Not this Lancelot, the other one. But this one's still pretty cool. If you're watching this like a year from now, just know that my YouTube avatar currently is the um, the the dual deck Lancelot art. Yeah. Uh, we got Scrap and Build, we got the Chain Bind, followed by the Hamlin, the Sound of Temptation. I think this card is... it's weird. But if you can abuse the Enter, I think it's good. It's not good just once, I think it's good many times. We have a Full Art Corpse Sorcerer. Um, you know what a Corpse Sorcerer is? It is a Lich. That is a Lich. They, they mean they fucking called the, the Ruler Lich, but Corpse Sorcerer literally is a Lich. Got this... This wooden ox that's on fire. Okay. Alright, guys. Let, just hold on. Hold the brakes. It's a wooden ox and everything is on fire. Is that... Is that the thing? Is like, is the wooden ox actually on fire? Or is he just like... The art was like... Yeah, the artist was like, yeah, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna make him... Put some fire on him. We got the Magic Zone of Corruption. Uncommon. Sandstorm. Oh, dude. Belial. Very cool card. Like this card quite a bit. Followed by a common Skyround Technician. Wamp, wamp. Well, that guy can go in the, the pile, but, you know, Belial is a really cool card with really cool art, actually. All right, so we got six more Packaroos for box one. Hopefully, we will get something sick. I think we still have one super rare full art to be expected. Explosion Wizard. And we have, uh, have we forgotten Explore the Unknown? This might be our first one. Interesting. We have another Osiris, followed by a full art Carrier Dragon. So yeah, I've already said it. I'm, I'm really gunning for the Tengu. Hopefully, I have an alt art super rare coming in. I have not, like, I think I've mentioned this already at the beginning of the video. I've not even seen one in person yet, so I don't think they even exist. We've got Balmung, and then, oh, dude! See? That's what happens when you bitch. You get exactly what you want. This is the fucking alt art... Tengu. This is Karura the Crow Tengu with the fucking gorgeous alt art. Just, just, let, I'll just let you bask in the glory and or ogle at her shiny butt. This card is super cool. I'm like fucking really excited for this one. That could not be happier with this box. This is like the icing on the cake. And I'll be really interested to note if this kind of takes up a slot from the other super rares. 
Like the foil super rares? Well, let's, we'll find out. Yeah, I, I, I'm, re I'm really excited. That is like the best pull I could have gotten. Though, what's the other ones? There's the other angel, and then there's Anubis. Those are the three kind of like secret full arts. We have Protection of the Angels, followed by a Scrap and Build. We have the Eccentric. I don't know if I said the word right. Uh, I said Eccentric, and then put the card down. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. We got some Corpse Sorcerer action. Some Light of the Moon. Another uh, little bow girl, followed by... Oh, dude. Sweet, dude. I mean, it's not that great of a card, but... Full art, just with cool art, it will always sell me. Good. Man, I mean, I'd rather have this than this. Well, and eh, the toss-up. All right, so this is the second to last pack for box one. I'm expecting to get a full art super in this pack. And if I do, Tengu would be sweet. Or Oborozuki. This was an uncommon. So this is uh, the Arendite, the Nitrogen Blade. I think it's a very interesting water removal spell. I think it's pretty good, actually. And then we have a super... Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, so it didn't count. We still got four full art super rares. And, like, come on. That is, this has got to be, like, the best one we could have gotten. Because, I mean, I do like the Crow Tengu a lot. But if I couldn't get her, like, another one of her... Then Oborozuki is definitely like my next pick. Yeah, this box, look at that. Bask in the glory, this box was awesome. Well, we still got one more pack. Let's, let's open up the last pack and, and judge. God pack? No, it's not a god pack. That sucks. And this is how I remove the motherfucking, motherfucking QR codes. All right, let's go. Giant of the Mist starting off actually kind of strong. Giant of the Mist is not too bad. We have these pustule rats, tiny. Tiny thing. It's just a tiny thing. <laughs> Magic Stone of Dramaturgy. We got this dude. We have another Squall of the Tengu. And then our final is a... Oh, it's a rare. Cool rare. Cool rare. That's a tiger. I'm down. I'm down with the tiger. All right. So, yeah. That was our first box. Second box will go much quicker. Uh, let's clean this stuff up a little bit. And I'll kind of just do a quick rundown in real time of the super rares that we got. And the number of full art rares just in general. So we did get one of the secrets. Uh, where is the other one? Here we go. So these are the four just regular full art supers that we got, which are really good actually. We got we got really good ones. I mean, I love uh, Anubis, though I do like her alt art a lot better. I mean, this is one of the crowning, crowning glories of this box. And then obviously our... Our Bay Man, our our, our Bay Man, our Crow Tengu, uh, and then we have you know what one two three four five six seven eight other ones. So yeah, let's open up the second box. I mean, maybe we'll get another one. Maybe we'll get two. Yeah, let's let's, let's go. Let's get two secret rares. All right, second box. Let's do it. We have our curvaceous Anubis once again. You know. Same as usual, let's just start with the packs. Alright, kicking it off. <laughs> Not quite strong with the Mimi tribe, but that's okay. We're gonna go through. Ah, hello, nurse. We have another. That was like a very, like, casual, like, hello, nurse. I'm not stealing pills from the. I don't even know. I was gonna say conservatory. That is not the right thing. We got Balmung, and. Oh, dude! Fuck yeah! That is an incredibly good rare to get. Very, very powerful card. That That is a very strong start to box two. And like I said, we're going to go through these pretty quick. So I think I'm going to skip straight to the uncommons. Oh, you don't really hear my sweet commentary on some of the cards. We have the uh, not Johnny Depp. I mean, God, that fucking last Alice in Wonderland movie was so terrible. We have Whispers of the Devil. We have Lemuria, the Boomerang. And then, oh, dude, another Fresh Blood Vampire. I'm going to collect these. I'm going to fucking collect these. So how are we going to make this deck? This deck? How are we going to make this box better than the last box? God pack. Boom, just easily. God pack or another of the fucking sweet ass alt arts. The angel, I have not even seen like a good up close picture of the angel. First of all, Arendite, pretty good. Followed by a fucking full art. Okay, that is a pretty Lancelot like centric pack. Both, both like really good cards actually. I think Lancelot is integral to the machine deck. But yeah, I was saying that I have not seen any like full high res art 
pictures of the alt art angel. I don't remember her name. Ophelia, something like that. It would be sweet to get one. We have Squall of the Tiangu, followed by a Volar Balmung. I'm just ripping all the fucking rares. You know, the last box is actually pretty front loaded too, if I remember right. Like, there were a lot of like full art rares in the first couple packs that I pulled. But I kind of pick semi randomly. I got my, my little dog. So, you know, it's, it's hard to tell if there's like a set pattern or anything. So we have the Magic Stone of Tranquility, pretty good rare. Followed by the Messenger of Death, pretty good common actually. We have Skeletor! That is my best Skeletor impersonation. Um, I apologize. <laughs> immediately regretted it. We got some uh, Miyazaki there. We got this fiery dragon serpent. We got Merlin. We got, I got a, got a full art. My, okay, I was going to say full art potato. My dog is named Potato. She's a little, little long hair chihuahua. She looks like that. We got a full art potato. Got some Miasma of the Abyss. Got mm, Paper Cat. I mean, that is seriously just Paper Cat. Um, and we're just gonna get to the... We got the Dora, Dora the, the Stoned Explorer. The Lunar Heaven. Got another Scold. I still want a full art one of these to compare it with the, uh, the promo. Followed by a full art giant. Got the Iron Cauldron Witch. Kind of sounds like a World of Warcraft. Like, I don't know, man. Just This is just a single stroke. It sounds like a War World of Warcraft kind of like villain. Iron Cauldron Witch. I don't know. It'd be like their title. It's like, I'm the Iron Cauldron Witch. Got Ire. Got this not good magic stone. Ah, oh, Jormungandr! And a little pustule. A bloody, bloody pimple head. Alright, let's go through these. Have you guys picked up any of the starter decks yet? As I, like, scratch my face. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. I think it's a fantastic time to get into the Force of Will. And just, just stroke it, just stroke it once. Uh, we have this Valkyrie. But seriously, though, I think it actually is a great, great time to get into the game. We have uh, Invitation. Oh, nice. So this is our second one. So that's half a play set for me. Just gotta, gotta get a couple more boxes. Followed by a Full Art Arendite. Oh, nice. So that is the second one in the box. And our second Full Art one of these total. But I'm happy about this one, actually. And on second thought, I'm happy about the Full Art. In all honesty. Because I'll probably end up getting more of those just through virtue of opening packs. Because I'm going to be opening at least one more box on the channel. We got the Slithery, Slithery Serpent. Magic Stone of Adventure. I got another Belial. That's pretty sweet. That's the first one for this box, but pretty sweet overall. I got some Scorched, Scorching Winds. I was going to say, Scorched from Within, which sounds horrible. Got a Skeleton Knight. I mean, Skeletor. Uh, I really resist the, the urge to make him sound like fucking Bane from Dark Knight Rises. Skeletor. Got the... That's what she said. We got Vivian. Got the bottomless chasm. We got a massive growth. We need to get more massive growths and the single strokes back to back. That's that's the dream. So yeah, good card. And then we have a full art. Oh, dude, this is our second full art Anubis. I mean, once again, she looks. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. She looks. Yeah, she's looking pretty good. You know, she's not the best super rare that we could have gotten. But, you know, not the worst. I think she's definitely good enough to be, you know, in decks. And I'm going to be putting her in some decks. We've got Craving. We have Magic Stone of Faith. Really happy about that. And a Full Art Scrap and Build. Got this, um, cue ball. Skeletor! I mean, now, now, now it is just, it is just a stroke. No, it is just, it's, it's Tom Hardy, man. It's just, it's all Tom Hardy. Got another Boomerang Girl. we got a lot of these. And then a Full Art Tiny Trader. Got the boring bird, cue ball, Skeletor. I mean, God, we got so many fucking Skeletors. Uh, I can't keep doing the voice. I can't. I can't. We have uh, that magic stone. We have this screaming bro. We have Heaven Thundering Strike. This is the first one I have gotten. Pretty cool art, man. Pretty cool art. And we have a ooh, another full art Spear of the Valkyrie. Oh, oh, fuck yeah! Oh yeah, you just slide. Hold on, let me get rid of this. Just fucking slide that down. You see the full art all the way. This is a motherfucking god pack. Oh yeah, bask. Bask in the glory of the god pack. Oh, it's sick. So we got Belial. We have uh, Boomerang Girl. Fucking sweet ass Ophiel. Very cool. 
I mean, it's the first one of those we've gotten full art. My third Anubis in two boxes. This bro, which has full things like on his eyes. That looks sweet. And then, you know, we got Bay here. The uh, career of the Crow Tengu. Very happy about that. Followed by Obarozuki, our second full art one. Once again, very happy about that. Another Siegfried, Jormungandr, who's really cute. I mean, full art, he's even cuter. And then another Lancelot. Is that our third Lancelot? Anyway, that is awesome. That's helping me complete my, like, full art collection of super rares. Incredibly happy about that. I'm going to have to, like, sort this out and spread, spread, spread them out a little, a little more fairly here. All right. Back to normalcy after the fucking craziness of the God Pack. It's kind of like selfish taking up all this space. Oh man, that, I'm super happy about that. And I am also curious if we'll get a secret rare now. I don't know if it's like, once again, I don't know if it's mutually exclusive. Because I know you have a chance to get it. But, yeah. Anyway, we've got a Disgraced Knight, followed by a full art magic stone of dueling. Get this, uh, this witch lady. I just keep, I just keep thinking about... Just keep thinking about the God Pack. I I'm super, super stoked about that. We have a Magic Stone of Corruption. We got, uh, da -da 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 I can't do it. <laughs> Failure. I, I was trying to do Sandstorm, guys. I'm trying to do the Darude. We got Atlantis and a Gatherer of Despair. All right, we got Giantimus. I'm gonna try it again, by the way. If we get another Sandstorm, I'm gonna try. I think I have perfected the the Sandstorm going on. We got Explosion Wizard. We have Explore the Unknown. Protection of the Angels, that's probably a full playset, and then we got a common... Ah! Oh, she looks even better with the uh, the full art. Not a good card, once again, but um, beautiful art. We are starting off with that giant bird a lot. A lot more than I would like in all on... Well, I mean, honestly, for the commons, it doesn't really matter all that much. We got Corpse Sorcerer, Sorcerer, Wipe Jaburb, we got the Stone of the Jaburb, and another Jaburb. It was uncommon. This one's rare. Um, if that wasn't clear with the words that I was saying. got uh, We got some emo tears. Giant dad. <laughs> cat ninja. Burning ox. This uh, horny dude. We got some thick that's what she said. We got... Okay, it's enough of that. That is enough of that. We have the skull woods. We got another Shen Gangbao. Taoist of Kunlun. Then we have a full art witchy witch. I greatly, greatly apologize for all of the sandstorming. Um, it is done. Like, seriously, though. It is actually done. I'm not going to do it again. We got Dora the Explorer. We got some Scrap and Burled. We got another Lancelot. We got a shit dude. You know, if we get another God Pack, I will literally shit my pants. <laughs> oh, God. Like, literally, just right where I'm sitting, just boom. Just take it, just take it dump on the spot. We have a black spot tiger <laughs> and a black spot tiger. Yeah, take a shit on the spot. Oh, fuck, dude. You know, and I sit to myself thinking, I sit to myself, I sit thinking to myself, oh, why didn't I get a, a special advanced box from the Forcible Company? You know, this is why. That is why. I mean, I'd like to say that I have too much fun. But uh, it's also not... Damn! Damn! Glad to see Oborozuki. It is not appropriate. We have a single stroke. Oh, yeah. That is just perfect. Like, fucking seriously. Got Scorching Winds. I mean, okay, how different is Scorching Winds than a Sandstorm? They're both pretty shitty if you're in them. I guess Sandstorm is more sand. If that wasn't the most obvious sentence of all time. We got some Boomerang. Got some boomerang action, followed by a full art Vivian, which sounds like a chip on the- No, it's good. It's all good. Got the fresh blood vampire. She needs... Okay, I was gonna say, she has flying but no wings. No, she's actually got wings. She's got the wings. You've got the touch! You've got the stay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. We have Dorothy Explorer, Magic Stone of Chaos, and a pretty scenic view. This is, this is Jurassic Park. You got this carrier dragon. I don't want to know what he's carrying. Could be anything from packs of things to um, deadly, deadly viruses. 
probably STDs. We have the Sandy City. We got the the dead sorcerer. We got the, the Pied Piper with his peed old pipe, and we got another fucking dead wizard. Low nurse. I feel I feel like I say that a, this is a little bit creepier than uh, the fucking Animaniacs. If you don't know what the Animaniacs are. You're probably a lot younger than me. We got the, the, the Sky Round. We got the Disgraced Knight. We got another fucking Siegfried. It's pretty good. I mean, is that a full playset? We got a lot of Siegfrieds. And by full playset, I mean like full playset of like full art ones. But she's pretty good. Is he, he's not a Valkyrie because he's a dude, right? He's just a, he's just a human. But I don't know, man. He's good. Good enough to, to stroke once. <laughs> Got the corpse dude. Chain band. Oh, nice. Very nice. That's definitely a place out of these for me. Yeah, and then we got... Ah, uh, Paper Cat. So, Greedy Kel definitely wants another full art secret. Just... Just one more. Come on. Just one more. And then another one from the, the other boxes that I'm getting. Um, by the way, I am doing Dex... Oh, dude. A few. Followed by... Nurdlehead. Yeah, I am doing Dex Strategy... Deck strategy. Deck in a box. My deck in a box. I'm doing deck in a box videos for this set, and I'm gonna do them in a little bit different way because you know rulers don't come in the boxes. So I think what I'm gonna do for the deck in the box videos is I'm going to open it up, and I'm gonna assume that you have all ten of the starter decks, or at least access to all ten of the rulers, um, because otherwise it'll be like impossible. Explosion wizard. To uh... dude, we got a lot of super rares in the last couple packs. These little pustule rats. Oh, dude, gross. When you, when you get the full art, you're going to see, like, the fucking swarm of throbbing, pulsating blister rats. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I forgot. I lost my train of thought. The blister rats. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it. Yeah, so for the new Deck in a Box videos, I don't know if we're actually going to build the deck like I have before. We might just come up with, like, a good generic build that, like, like the best deck that you could build with the card pool available, if that makes any sense. I don't think it makes any sense. It sounds like the same thing. It's not the same thing. We got another IU, and we got another Disgrace. That's a rare. It's pretty sweet. Um, basically, we'll like, like I'll just say, like this pool would be really good if you put it in like fucking Lucifer deck, that kind of stuff. Basically, the idea of those deck videos, or the deck in a box videos, are for like new players who are just picking up the game, and they all they do is buy a starter deck, and they buy a booster box, or maybe they buy a booster box first, and they're like, oh, what can I build with the cards that I have? These are the only cards that I have. That, that kind of thing. And we'll like go over it and give you some like deck building tips. We got uh, Siegfried and another fucking Fiery Ox. Yeah, we'll give you like deck building tips. And by we, I mean I will give you deck building tips. And um, kind of like do some, some card evaluations, that kind of stuff. Mostly they're framed around just deck... Or why do I keep saying deck? They're mostly framed around box opening videos, kind of like this one. But um, we, we talk a little bit more about the cards and how they would go into a deck, especially if you just brewing stuff on your own. Magic Stone of Dueling, followed by another Full Art of Cyrus. You know, a lot of these guys. So yeah, if you don't know what those videos are like, I do have several of them out already for other sets. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I think it's a really fun like deck building challenge too. So we got some uncommon stuff. We have, oh nice, very happy about that. Followed by, oh, oh this is not a rare. Yeah, really happy about this guy though. All right, so this is the second to last pack. Um, hopefully we get some big money no whammies. And by that I mean a full art secret rare. Looks like an alternate art. Also this was uncommon. So we got burial rights and then we got, ooh, it is a super rare. All right, all right, it's not, a, you know, the, the alternate art one. But I'll still, I'll still take the full art, man. It still looks gorgeous. All right, this is the last pack. This is our last hope at redemption. We did get the God Pack. So, God Pack in one box. Secret rare thing in the other box. Pretty good. Pretty happy about all that kind of stuff. Um, let's let's close it out, man. Let's have a good, strong close out. We got the, the Roundy Castle. We got the Spirity Forest. We got the Jubei. Oh, it's a rare. So we got Merlin. That's all right. It's all right. All right, guys. So that was my Force of Will New Dawn Rises double box opening. That was fucking sweet. We got a God Pack, which is, you know, as you see before you, all the glory of the full art. 
and the waifus and all that stuff. The other super rares that we got in the box were not too bad. I mean, we, Nubis is always sweet. Lancelot, I think, is actually really good and playable. Um, Siegfried and Ophiel are also both really good, in my opinion. And then, of course, we have our full art, Look of Corruption. One of the first cards we actually even opened in that box. Um, and then the other rares are, like, kind of meh, other than maybe Balmung and uh, Arendite. But really, really good box overall. We had some really good boxes between the, um, the fucking God Pack and the uh, Secret Rare kind of thing. Actually, let me pull that. Yeah, here it is. Um, so yeah, that is this video. Stay tuned for another Force Will box opening with the Deck in a Box video. Hopefully I explained that very well. I was trying to look at cards and read them while also explaining it. I'll explain it better in the video. Um, I think it's just a really fun deck building exercise with a very limited amount of... It's a very limited card pool, basically. So yeah, if you guys like the video, then like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps, and I appreciate it oh so much. Um, yeah, stay tuned for some more forceful content um, for some more just card game content in general and I hope to see you guys next time oh yeah also check me out on Twitter too I post weird sh weird shit there yeah check me out I'll see you guys later